welcome to cbscelabs.com today we will discuss about the right angled triangles and pythagoras property consider the triangle ABC here we found that the angle at the vertex B is 90 degrees so this triangle is called the right angle triangle in this right angle triangle there are three sides AB BC and CA now the side which is opposite to the right angle that is the side which is opposite to the 90 degrees angle is called the hypotenuse here we find that the side AC is opposite to the angle 90 degrees so this side AC is called the hypotenuse here in this right angle triangle the angle at the vertex B is 90 degrees the side which is opposite to this right angle that is to this 90 degrees is AC so this side AC is called the hypotenuse of this given right angle triangle The remaining two sides which are AB and BC are called legs of the right angle triangle. Now in this given right angle triangle ABC the sides AB and BC are called legs of the the right angled triangle now let us discuss about the Pythagoras property states that in a right angle triangle
the square on the hypotenuse is equal sum of the squares on the legs now in this right angle triangle ABC the hypotenuse is AC and the legs of this right angle triangle are AB and BC now the Pythagoras property states that the square on the hypotenuse that is AC square is equal to sum of the squares on the legs that is sum of the squares of these two sides that is AB square plus BC square this is called the Pythagoras property Now, the note point about this property that is the note point about the Pythagoras property is the Pythagoras property only for the right angle triangles conversely we can conclude that if the Pythagoras property holds then the triangle must be right angle triangle now this property is used to decide Whether the given triangle is right angle triangle or not. Let's see the example. Here, the three sides of the triangle are given, which are 6 cm, 8 cm, and 10 cm. First, uh, we have to square the all the given three numbers. Now, 6 square equal to 36 and by squaring 8 we get 64 and by squaring 10 we get 100 it is very clear that 100 equal to 36 plus 64 
that is 10 square equal to 6 square plus 8 square now this is clearly in the form ac square equal to ab square plus bc square which is a Pythagoras property so the triangle having the sides 6 centimeters 8, 8 centimeters and 10 centimeters is a right angle triangle therefore we can conclude that given sides forms the right angle triangle This finish the section. I hope that you can understand.